Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're gonna try a different type of project. I, I take drum lessons and I was at the store and I saw this build your own bongo cajon kit from Meinl. I think that's how you say it. Everybody seems to say their name a little uh, differently. They're from Germany. So, uh, I'm German and I don't even really know how to say it. Meinl? I think it's Meinl. Um, but it's a build your own kit um, and I thought for $20 with this kit cost, I thought it'd be fun to try to build one. Uh, they also have a full size cajon. And, uh, if I like building this one, I'll get that. It's like 40 bucks or something. Um, you can go to any music store and ask, they could probably order it if they don't have it. Uh, you can also get it on Amazon and it's, uh, 1995 for the kit. Uh, so why don't we come in, take a look at it and, uh, put this thing together and see what we got. Uh, directions, uh, looks like a product catalog, that's cool. Uh, here are the directions, German, uh, it's a German company, so that's first English, there we go. Uh, doesn't look like a whole lot of parts, so it's basically just a plywood box. Um, this looks like the top, yeah, it's the top, it's pretty thin, but it you probably would want it to be thin to to vibrate. Sides. There's sides. There's also a middle. Um, right here. And it's to get two different tones, probably. Um, yeah. So, datas are already cut in it. Here's the other side. So, looks pretty good. I think uh, basically all we need to do is uh, grab some glue and put it together. It looks like we'll need four clamps, mm, maybe six. You might want to put one in the middle, but we'll see. Um, and then it looks like they band strapped it together. So. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dry fit this together. Uh, they put up arrows because there's bevels here. a little fuzz here it's not too hard for me to clean up but if you were building this and didn't really have a wood shop you need to get something a screwdriver or something could knock the fuzz out <sighs> That one's a little loose where these are a little tight. I tried using this, but it, it you know, my little um, shoulder plane was just taking a little too much of a bite. I just want to take a tiny bit off. Get the fuzzies out of here. And then see. There we go. Tight there. It's a little loose. I'll probably. It's a little oversized, which is fine. It's 
go ahead, pull it apart, and then we'll glue it up. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and use regular Elmer's white glue. A couple reasons. Uh, I think this is what people would have at their home if they're putting together a kit like this and don't really have a wood shop. And B, I'm out of the other glue. So I don't have any type bond or wood, wood glue, so we're going to use this. Uh, that's my reason, and I'm going to disguise it as the fact that I think this is what people would have at home. Uh, when really I'm just out of glue. Okay, I'm ready to glue up. I'm going to do the outer sides first, and then put this center piece in. I'm just going to go ahead and add the glue to the top piece and go ahead and put it on. I'm just going to go ahead and clamp the ends before I go ahead and stick the center piece in. The glue has had a chance to dry, so I went ahead and removed the clamps. I'm going ahead and sanding the top. This way the plywood will sit evenly and bond really strongly to the top. Add some glue. I went ahead and decided to use the F clamps here instead of the band clamps. I had them and I thought they'd do a better job of sealing up the top. I went ahead and let it dry overnight. The top is oversized, so I decided to go ahead and trim it down using a block plane. I could have used a router, but I thought this was simpler, less mess, less setup. So I used a block plane to get it close, and then I sanded it smooth. I started with 80 grit on the random orbit sander. This worked great on bringing back that last bit that I didn't get with the hand plane. And it was nice. It was nice and easy to round over those corners. And I finished it up with some hand sanding. For the finish, I started with mineral oil, rubbing it into the wood. I went ahead and wiped off the excess oil, did all the sides, as well as put a coat on the inside. I finished it off with some paste wax, rubbing it deep into the wood. Here it is, pretty good project. You could finish it in a day, be something good to do with kids. Um, it was a fun little project. It took me the weekend, but I, I had to film it. But uh, I think it was fun. Uh, I recommend it. For 20 bucks, it was a pretty fun thing to do. So thank you for coming to my shop. See you next time.